became born again on uh, December 1975 and got baptized in the March 75 and in May 75 spoke in tongues and interpreted. I think one of the qualifying factors was that the growth seemed to have been so rapid in, in my life perhaps is that that joint of Pastor Fred had announced that he was going on a 40 day fast and uh, those in the church who would, wanted to join him could do so and uh, you know I was a new kid on the block uh, didn't know too much but I managed 39 days and uh, Pastor Fred finished 40 days but somehow I just have that feeling that, yeah, uh, the Lord honored the, the, the attempt and uh, just opened the Holy Spirit to me. And uh, yeah, there was, he's anointed me and uh, I've had an incredible walk with him. But I do believe that played a big part. And one of the things I uh, uh, overlooked was I'd been born again, I think it was my third Sunday and uh, Denise hadn't come with the church that morning and I um, walked in I was a little bit late and there was only one seat left and it was right in front of the pulpit right in front and Pastor Fred opens up and he says this morning we'll pray for Sister Danielza and for this one and for that one and he's going on and he's rambling on and I thought to myself dear Lord how did these people pray and remember all this and who they've got to pray for and he says and Pastor Sonny Ahmed Sonny Dipana will you open and pray so stupid me I stand up and I turn my back to the pulpit because I want to see what this other Sonny Dipana looks like I mean it's not often that you have two Sonny Dipanas in a place and I turned around and I looked no, there was nobody there and, and Pastor Fred said Brother Sonny, I'm speaking to you. So I got thrown in the deep end on my like my third Sunday. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful to, to Pastor Fred for that. that I wasn't too amused at the time, I've got to admit that, but I'm, I'm grateful for that because uh, you know, when you're just thrown in the deep end like that, I, I think it just does something to your faith later on. And uh, I had the same experience <laughs> with Bob Trench and uh, I hadn't been born again for long and I was still going to the Full Gospel Church as, as such and uh, I got invited uh, with Bob Trench to go down to East London and exactly the same thing transpired there and Bob got onto the stage and he addressed these businessmen and there must have been a, about 150 people there I suppose and uh, he just said, he said, I would like to introduce my friend from Durban, uh, Sonny Dipano and I got on the stage and he gave me the microphone and he said carry on my brother I'm, I'm, I'm off and he walked off the stage and uh, quite frankly I just didn't know what to do uh, went completely blank and uh, the, the Holy Spirit is so incredible you know he said all I need for you to do is to give you a testimony so I gave my testimony and as I completed my testimony the Holy Spirit said to me he said there's a man here he's suffering with a sinus problem terrible sinus problem and I want you to heal him like that I said me he said I want you to heal him so I announced it I said there's a man here I said uh, you've got a terrible sinus problem and the Lord's going to heal you this big burly farmer came up came up to me and he said to me he said he said I want to tell you something I said what's that he said on my way here I said I was speaking to God he said I left the farm he said I was speaking to the Lord and he said, I told the Lord, he said, unless you can do something today, I will end my life. There's no arguments about it. I can no longer take the pain. Prayed for him and the Lord delivered him right there and then. So already God had started to minister through this earthen vessel. And isn't it incredible that uh, he would take an earth, earthen vessel and, and, and fill it with his spirit and, and, and say, that this is my temple. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit the temple of God, you know. Uh, that, that always uh, uh, amazes me that, that God would go to those lengths. 
There is another person I'd like to pay tribute to, and today I don't even know where he is, but uh, he could could have gone on to the Lord. It was an Indian uh, gentleman that worked with me at Wentworth Hospital. Uh, he used to clean all the machinery and uh, like a dog's body sort of type uh, person, I suppose. And uh, I walked in one particular Monday morning, had my briefcase with me, and we had a, a, a serious problem. We're not going to go down that road, but uh, and I was rather perplexed. And I remember Gilbert coming up to me, Gilbert Nair, and he said to me, uh, Oh, Mr. Dipano, don't worry, man, God will sort it out. And I dropped my briefcase and I picked Gilbert up and I hit him against the wall uh, so hard that his, his legs actually buckled. And I said to him, I said, don't speak to me about God, man. I said, all I do is see these people that come in here and people that have been stabbed and people that have been raped and, you know, all this, this sort of thing. I said, where's this God like that? Well, little did I know that Gilbert went home that evening and like most Indian people, and I say this with great respect and great love, they always seem to have a connection somewhere and the connection's got a connection and the connection's got a connection. Well, Gilbert had a connection in the, the office, the main office. So he got hold of my file and my particulars and Denise's particulars and the children's particulars and went home. And uh, he called his family together. He said, when I get home tomorrow afternoon, you will know everything that you, that you see written down here about this family and we will pray for them. I didn't realize that. It was 10 years of praying by Gilbert and his family. The morning that I, or the Sunday evening I came to the Lord Jesus Christ, the change must have been absolutely dramatic and, and I, I didn't realize it. Same passageway, briefcase, walking down the same passageway, Gilbert didn't even speak. He just ran and he threw his arms around my waist and he said, I can see that you've met with Jesus. So that was the transformation from a Sunday evening to a Monday morning. And so I paid tribute to Gilbert and to, to his family. Uh, hanging in there for, for 10 years was an incredible feat and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for, for that caliber of person that is in the body of Jesus Christ, you know. Uh, it, 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 it leaves you, uh, you, you're just humble, you know, to think that somebody would just go to, to, to that length to, to win a soul in, in, into the kingdom. And, yeah, for that, I'm, I'm grateful. Praise the Lord for that.